I came to the field of regenerative medicine basically by moving forward at different levels of complexity. Um, so first I was studying DNA repair, so something very, very focused. Next, I decided to go one step forward and basically study all the signaling pathways and the interactions between different molecules. And then the next logical step seemed to me to be studying cellular biology and how all these things integrate into defining a particular cellular identity. I did a study in Spain. I was working there. Then I moved to Germany, actually, for a few years as well. And then I ended up in San Diego and now here. Uh, there are many differences, actually, in terms of the culture, uh, particularly when you are related, you know, speaking about work. Um, I would say the major differences are between <laughs> Spain and any other country, obviously. Uh, well, you know, I guess it's a Spanish culture. We are a bit more laid back and so on. So that was not that different in San Diego. <laughs> uh, however, in San Diego, you know, this American system is very, very competitive. It's very, very focused and so on. Um, the major difference that I would say I felt uh, comparing San Diego, Germany, or, or UK, it's actually the how open people are, right? I mean, I like it here because basically, you know, you just arrive and you just get to know everybody and speak to everyone, you know? So that's very, very open and that promotes a lot of collaborations and brings new ideas. Well, I think the the question here is uh, relatively simple, right? So for me, I try to simplify everything. I, okay, so how to say it? Uh, I'm a very simple man, okay? So when I face a problem in biology, I really, really like to, to look at it in the most simple way that is, that is possible. And for me, you know, everybody is always speaking about an organ or whatsoever, so I cannot compete in terms of knowledge with a clinician. They will know far more than myself about a heart or about a kidney. However, what I know, is how to convert one cell into another one. And I know what I have to do to achieve those goals. So that's basically what really, really pushes me to the field of regenerative medicine because it's, it, it feels like magic, right? I mean, it's really like you can just go to the lab and you can really make whatever cell types that you want and those potentially will help people. So that's really, really a very interesting thing. basically we have uh, three major questions right um, one is very basic is understanding all the determinants that define cellular identity right so I need to know the barriers that define a particular cell type to actually eliminate them and convert them into a different cell and the other thing that I like to think a lot is um, about the practical aspects of this field um, right now we can make a lot of things in the lab but you know that's feels a bit like going in circles. So I really, really want to push this forward into, you know, into the patient, into the clinic. I think translating this knowledge is actually what interests me a lot. So basically there we are speaking about getting really functional cells, right? I mean, you don't want just to make beautiful pictures. You want to put this in a patient and that this makes a function, that this plays a role. And the last thing that obviously is what interests me the most it's mainly to induce regeneration per se. So, uh, as you realize, it's everything about practicality, right? I mean, you can transplant cells, but you might also be able to just induce tissue repair by itself. And it's basically applying the same concepts that we do in vitro, right? I mean, we just need to know how to apply them in the patient. I think the, the impact of this research in the clinic is I mean, it's, it's outstanding, right? I mean, potentially, we should be able to basically cure anything, right? I mean, nowadays, we are able to, to just remove a mutant gene and put a normal version of that gene. Once we have those cells, we can generate whatever cells you are missing or whatever cells were responsible for, for a given disease, right? So the potential of the field is basically everything. I think one of the biggest challenges that we are facing right now in the field is translating the research that we do in the lab to the clinic. Um, how to put it as an example, I think that if you realize the first cars that were made, you know, might be a bit crappy. They might be not as safe as the ones that we have now, but people were driving them. 
right now in the field, we keep on going in circles in this regard. So we are always trying to tweak the technologies that we have. We are trying to make them more efficient, safer, etc. But we also need to start testing them practically. Well, to address the problems translating my research into the clinic, I think that the short answer will be, I came here to King's College. <laughs> uh, the long answer will be basically, you need to change a bit your mind. Um, you know, there seems to be a bit of a mismatch, right? I mean, when you are a young scientist, when you are starting your career, you obviously need big profile papers. Big profile papers normally go in very basic discoveries, right? I think you need to find a balance between basic discoveries and also applying what you have, right? In, 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 in clinical trials mainly, and to get the network that allows you to do that. If I had unlimited resources, what I would focus on would be completely on inducing regeneration in vivo. I think that will really sort out most of the problems that we have right now in terms of, you know, integrating the cells, transplanting things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think if we had unlimited resources to do research, we certainly will be screening and identifying all the determinants that define cellular identity, but applying those directly in vivo to eliminate any kind of, you know, potential surgery, right? It's much easier to actually inject a patient with something that promotes healing and open the patient, transplant things, et cetera, et cetera.